Hi there. If you click on the link below, it'll take you to my GitHub repo where the steps are to get you quickly started with native script and Vue for local development. So I'm going to start with step number one. Uh, make sure that Node.js is installed globally on your machine. And if you haven't done that yet, you can click on the link. It'll take you here. Um, I would always uh, install the recommended one just because I know it's stable. Note 14 is installed. Um, step number two. Uh, is to install the native script CLI and you do that by running the script in your terminal. So I'm going to do that. All right, after that's done, uh, I'm going to move on to number step number three. Um, so if you're using Windows 7 or later, uh, you can run the script here. Um, what this does is it installs all the dependencies and tools that you need to finish uh, setting up the native script CLI on your machine. Um, if you don't feel comfortable doing it right now, you can scroll down all the way down and click on the native script click uh, link uh, and that should take you to the official native script website so you can read more about it there but um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run the script in my terminal and also make sure that uh, you open your terminal as an administrator and I already did that um, so like right click on it and just run as uh, administrator. Um, and uh, it'll ask you this, like, do you want to install everything without asking you or, or, you know, asking you for your permission? So I'm going to say yes. So just ins install everything. You don't, you don't need my permission. Just type type A or capital A and then hit enter. And right now it's installing all the tools and dependencies that I need for to to, to finish uh, setting up the um, the native CLI or the native script CLI in, on my machine to, to to be able to run or yeah to be able to run iOS or Android apps uh, locally. Without this, without running the script, you will not be able to to do that. So, I'm just gonna give it a minute. Now it's asking me if, if I want to install an Android emulator. I'm just going to say yes. And then press any key. All right, it looks like I'm done with this, right? Um, so now, step number four. So if you're using Mac, uh, this is the script you need to run instead. Um, but after you're done, you know, after the script is finished, um, and that's step number four, you need to 
a run uh, uh, this command TNS doctor and what this does is uh, it just it, it make it 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 makes sure it makes sure that your 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 installation was successful um, everything was you know when you when you ran when I you know when you when you when when I ran the script um, you know there there was a bunch of things that that were installed and it and and you know you want to make sure that everything was installed successfully um, so I'm gonna run TNS doctor so now it's gonna tell me if something went went wrong all right it's still doing that um, so if you get this message no issues were detected then you're good to go otherwise you would need to figure out what went wrong and and try to solve it so but hopefully you're you know you you'll get this to the, the message and you know you're and you, you know you're good to go um, I've never had any issues with this um, I've, I've 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 ran the you know I've I've run them the script so many times and on different machines as well um, and I've never seen any issues so hopefully you will not run into any issues I'm gonna go back here. All right, so uh, step number five: run uh, npm install. Uh, so at this point, I'm done with setting up the native script CLI um, on my machine. So now I'm gonna move on to installing the Vue CLI, and that's number five. So I'm gonna copy this command here and also run it in my terminal I think my terminal just got messed up Alrighty, let's do it again Alright, um, now I'm going to run this command just to make sure that uh, that was successful. Alright, it looks like it was successful and I have uh, view CLI uh, version 4.5. I'm going to go back here. Uh, number 6, so open your favorite IDE. Uh, mine is VS Code but feel free to use whatever IDE you like. I also put the link for the for VS Code here, so if you want to use it too, and you want to install it on your machine, you can do that too. Um, now I'm going to go open that. All right, uh, number where am I? Number six. So I open that now. Run this command, um, and and what this does is um, it creates a project for me, a native script view project, and the name of the project is ns-view-hello-world. Um, this is the name that I picked. Uh, Feel free to choose or, or pick whatever name you like. And now it's going to ask you a bunch of questions. Um, if you're okay with the ans with the given answers, just hit enter. Enter. I'm just going to keep hitting enter. And if you want to use JavaScript or TypeScript. I'm gonna just pick types JavaScript for now. 
um, and I'm gonna go with tab view um, I don't need view X for now so I'm gonna say no and I don't need the dev tools either for now I'm gonna say no um, I'm gonna go with uh, you can pick whatever I'm gonna go with forest I just my favorite theme so all right uh, now it looks like it's done um, and it uh, it created for me it created the project for me so I can um, I'm gonna just go back here to see what uh, what I need what's this what the what 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 the next step is um, step number seven so it's, so I'm gonna go and just copy this and it's just faster and type in um, so what this does is it just in, it it installs all the all you know all the node um, packages for your project. After that's done, I'm gonna go back here and uh, step number eight. If you use a Windows, um, you need to install the Android Studio. <coughs> Excuse me, and you need to install that to be able to create a virtual device, <coughs> which you will need to run your code on eventually. Um, I already installed it but I'm gonna I'm gonna click on it to see how that looks like so this is how the site looks looks like right um, downloading it is pretty straightforward <clears throat> um, and like I said I already installed it on my machine and and I've been using it for a while now so I'm gonna go back to here um, and I'm gonna open it and um, and then create a new virtual virtual device. If you look up here, up, up you know all the top, uh, you know uh, the top right corner. <clears throat> you see the, uh, the this icon right here says um, AVD Manager. Just click on that. And then it uh, looks like uh, since I, I created this, but um, if um, if you're if you install if you if you install this for the first time it'll it'll ask you to create a new one uh, since I I I I created this already so it's saved um, you know this virtual device so I don't need to create an, a new one but I can uh, it's down here um, but I only need a one virtual device for now so I'm just gonna go ahead and run it uh, I keep getting this error for some reason, but you can just hit OK. Alright, well, uh, looks like this was saved from the previous one. So I'm gonna just going to close this. Um, I'm just going to delete this virtual device and just create a new one. And I'm gonna go with the default. I'm just gonna go with the default, all the, the default values here, um, and then hit finish. And uh, I'm gonna run it. And make sure that is turned on.
I'm going to wait till the device is on and then I'm going to go back to the to VS code and um, I run the code that will be running on this device it looks like it's uh it's on now all right so I'm going to go back here and I'm just going to run step number we're on step number what nine right so yeah so went back so so you go back to your ID and within the same terminal you had open um, in step number seven which is this step here uh, and then just run this uh, command so I'm gonna do that now TNS run And now let's. Uh, this th this is gonna take like a minute. Let's see what happens. All right, looks like it's coming up. All right, so now it looks like it's working. Um, I don't see any errors um, or anything like that. So, um, yeah, these are the th three tabs, um, and I can, you know, click on any of them. Um, and also, if I go and make any code changes. Uh, let's say I go inside components and open app uh, view. Uh, let's say I want to change something here. Um, let's say I want to say hello world from tab 2. And then it will go back here. Let's see. Uh, the, I should see the changes being reflected on the virtual device as well. So, if I go to tab 2, and I can see it here. Alright, that's all for this video. If you like it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And also, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.